if you've worked in a corporate setting before and um, you maybe like a company like Shell or Coca-Cola or some of these big reputable companies uh, uh, around the world, um, there are certain positions that come with certain benefits and bonuses. So it's attached to the position. And of course, you know, some of it might be being in this position, you get an official car, sometimes two official cars, you get a house, you get a driver. Uh, in some cases, these benefits also sort out your children's school fees. Anything that will distract you from focusing on the work you are employed to do, this company takes it. And sometimes they even give you some rest and and maybe a year or, or, or twice a year you get to travel out on vacation with your family to cool your head because of the value you add to the company and because of how delicate and sensitive the work you're doing for the company is most of us know about this so my friends the plan and purpose of god for your life is actually to work in his vineyard now what do you think happens and most people do this when you lose that job do you still expect the benefits and that is what some of us do we don't want to work in the vineyard of god but we want the benefit that comes with the vineyard now what you need to understand and please my prayer and hope is that what i'm about to share with you today will not just you know live in your spirit because you see what we have done some of us have done with the word of god with the bible is we we have so much head setting verses growing up by Sunday school bible school we have heard it so much that we have watered the the, the power and how potent it is because uh, is it not just john 3 16 but god so loved the world uh, is it not just it, it, that it, it has become so easy for you that you think that there is no longer power in it and even though you're a christian you're a churchgoer you still struggle i'm about to show you why because until you understand this truth there are certain levels in life even as a tongue-talking christian you will not accelerate to i want to read a place for you in matthew chapter 6 from verse 33 some of you must have heard me talk about this verse and some of you know that this is one of my favorite verses this verse literally changed my life because after you understand this you will keep struggling even though you have access to everything you need the bible says i'll start from verse 31 therefore do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear Gen for after all these things the gentiles seek the people of the world the the whole rat race the craziness going in the world this is all their seek for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things 33 is where i'm going to he said but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you what is all these things everything you wake up in the morning to chase all those things that have cost you your devotion and your relationship with god all those things that have made you denounce god and your faith so that you can benefit you know people now have a mindset and think that when they say you should serve god what they mean is that you should carry a big bible dress anyhow and maybe you go to church probably even open a church no 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 a thousand times no that is where you've missed it the way god created us in the order of melchizedek is that we shall be kings and priests unto our god revelation chapter 5 verse 10 so what that means is that god has spheres so there is a sphere of education there's a sphere of government there's a sphere of entertainment there's a, a, a sphere of politics the, the idea the primary purpose of god is to have his ambassadors and and and, and leaders in these spheres so you're not just there with excellence but you're there filled with the power of god Oh, 
if you understand this, what I'm about to share with you today, there are certain things you will not, you will not struggle with. Because you see, what we do is that we seek every other thing but the kingdom. But here is the catch. Why you see most Christians fall for false prophets, charlatans, and not even be able to identify the one that is real from fake is because majority of the time people chase what is in the hands of God and not what is in his hands. And by doing that, you fall into trouble. When I started making this prayer and when I realized the righteousness, I'm about to explain to you what this means. So seeking first the kingdom is not just enough, which is reconciling men back to God through the platform, but his righteousness. And what that means is you do not just serve God because of what you get from God. You serve God because you want to know him. I will tell you this story. Many years ago, I've been in the entertainment industry for more than 23 years. Even though I was making films and I was making money, I was still broke. I can't tell how money will come into my hand and leave. And I'm back to square one. I can't tell how I'm a celebrity at that time. And things were still going certain ways. At a point, I was now asking myself, what is going on? Until it was laid in my spirit that God, hmm, God only makes provision for the vision he has given you. God, please write this down. God does not sponsor a project he has not called you to do. So, what he made me understand is that for everybody I have used to do great and mighty things on earth, there was a covenant, there was an agreement. And one of many agreements I is literally signed with God was no matter where you take me, no matter the level of fame, no matter the level of prosperity and wealth you take me, I will always use my platform and my resources to serve you. It was signed. But God did not just want that to be a transactional relationship. One of the greatest things he did for me till tomorrow I will be grateful for was to give me an encounter. So after I made that contract and I signed, God now gave me an encounter. And that was when I now had a test of Jesus. So I came out of that encounter not now thinking of what I will get from knowing God, but because of the access and how wonderful Jesus is, my focus was now serving Jesus in spirit and in truth. And by doing that, everything else was added unto me. So when I tell you that everything I have, I did not pray for, you will not believe. I will say it again. I do not save to buy things. I don't say, oh, I want to buy this land. I want to buy this car. And I start saving. I have never saved since I discovered this truth to have all the needs, my needs met. Why? Because waking up in the morning now, I put my eyes on Jesus. And just my eyes being on Jesus, goodness and mercies, every other thing is being added unto me. So what is the problem? The inability, the unwillingness for people to walk for God and walk with God. Walking for God is doing that which he has called you on earth to do in whichever platform. Then walking, W-A-L-K-I-N-G, with God is the relationship you can't do the two together uh, separately so sometimes we practice religion and we think we are serving god i wake up every morning and my prayer is lord let your will be my ambition let what is in your heart be what i pursue put the things you that you that you want to see changing in my heart. I don't want to have any ambition on earth. I used to be like that. I used to say, this is what my ambition. When I had an encounter with God, I knew that the only reason, even him said it. He said, I know the thoughts I have for you, 
thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. So my question is, how can the manufacturer of Apple or of Samsung manufacture the product and the product decides on something else? God is our manufacturer. God knows this product and how best this product functions. But what do we do? We grow up in a work generation, in a generation that when you say certain things, they, they cancel you. Wanting to do our own thing. That is why it seems like the more work this generation and the world is getting, the more decay is getting. The more work people are, the more people think they know much, the more things are spoiling. He said, I know the thoughts and plans I have for you. Thoughts of good. Who is saying this? You know, sometimes we forget who God is. Oh, I cannot forget the time I was traveling. I was going to the U.S. and I was flying past the Atlantic Ocean. And while I was looking down this water for almost six hours, we are crossing this thing. And it was laid in my spirit that this thing that, that makes our plane looks tiny is like one of the fish ponds of God. Then I began to ponder how big God is. And it dawned on me that God did not just create Lagos, which if you look at from the sky, it is like people are like ants. He did not just create Nigeria, which if you go further higher, you will notice how big the country is. He did not just create West Africa or, 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 or Africa or Europe or the entire world. He did not only create the nine planets that is in a galaxy called the Milky Way galaxy. He created 200 to 500 billion other galaxies among the world we live in. It is the same God that says, I know the plans I have for you. So how can you carry God? How can you have access to such person and you're confused if something is wrong, not wrong? And that is being able to pay the price to have a relationship. You cannot connect to your mother wherever she is. You cannot connect to your father wherever he is. I'm talking about biological parents. If you don't have the proper tools for that connection, if the communication level with your phone does not work, you cannot connect to them. And that is what we do. We don't connect to God. We don't have that relationship with God. But we want things from Him. So, we don't want to walk in the vineyard of God, but we want all the benefits that come with the vineyard. We want to do our own thing, but we still want God to bless us. And that brings me to what is going on now with so many girls. I see them on social media using a good girl does not pay. I hope you are ready to take the consequences of that statement when your children begin to come. Because you see, what I, what we need to understand is that when the Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue, it is what you say with your mouth is what you see. And that is why sometimes when you have a bad habit and you give birth, if that is not dealt with, your children will carry it. So we say certain things, we do certain things for rubbish. We see girls doing so many stupid things for iPhone, for, for things that, that is chaff. You sell your birthright, you get into bestiality, you do so many crazy I'm not just talking about girls, guys as well. For something that only comes in obedience when you begin to do the work God has called you to do. So we seek every other thing but the kingdom. And what is the kingdom? Reconciling men back to God through the gift, talent, and ability God has given you to serve him with. Because you are blessed to bless others. You are saved to, to save others. Of what use are you to God? Oh Lord, if you bless me, what will that do for his kingdom? And my prayer this evening, my prayer is that you grasp this truth. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will help us be better, do better, walk in his truth. And have the life God has planned for us to have on earth. In Jesus' precious name, God bless you.